Good morning. I am Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters and Juicy Jones HQ. And this morning, we're going to take a look at the Wismic RX2. This just came in from Vaping Michael B. Look at it. Vape AM, Wismic Rulo RX2. It's got the new batteries. It's going to be cool. I hope. I underpay that guy who does those intros. They're really good though. So today we're gonna have Vapen of Michael B here with us. I'm gonna call him up here in a second. He's on video chat. We're gonna open this thing up and do a full unboxing for you, show you everything in the box, talk about it. I used it overnight. And there's a tank in here too called the Gnome Tank, which is like a little illicit two mil, four mil tank. I wanna say a couple of things first though. One, join me at the West Coast Vape Expo, at West Coast Vape Expo on Instagram. And that's gonna be December 9th and 10th. It's gonna be great in Pasco, Washington. If you're anywhere near there, join me. We can hang out, do selfies, you know, vape, talk stuff. I'm gonna be hanging out with Van Gogh Vapes and they're awesome. Number two, Van Gogh Vapes has a new website they released today. So go to Van Gogh Vapes and make sure you use the code juicyjoneshq.com. You get 15% off. Um, and what else? We are working on this thing. Vaping with Michael B sent this thing to the channel, which is so cool. It was just a donation, and so I love him. And so we're having him on to talk about him and his experience with his that he got also. So we're gonna talk about it. We'll have a full review as we go. You know how we are if you keep tuning in, especially to Discord. That's the third thing. Join us on Discord. We have a live chat server and we're there every day. And it's the primary place where I do most of my question answering and stuff like that. So if you guys want to catch us, catch us on on Discord. I'll have a link in the description by the time we finish all this. Um, and if not, one of the moderators of the chat will do that for you. So first of all, there is, and I pasted this into the chat, that is our server invite. So paste that into your Discord and you can join us. Um, I've also put a link to these kits on Heaven Gifts. And it looks like this kit cost, let's just get this over with. It looks like this kit costs just about uh, with the tank, let's go without the bat without the tank. The one with the batteries is just about, no, I've got the one with the tank. The tank I is about $60. And they have one with the batteries and without the tank for about $43. So uh, in general, I recommend these things, you get them with the batteries at this point, because it's not that easy to get all of the Secondhand batteries, but this one comes with good Amp King batteries. Let's go down to the, let's bring Mike on. There he is. Hey guys. Get his audio up. There you are. Hey Mike, how are you? Hey, I'm good, Juicy. How are you? Oh yeah, baby, I'm good. It's Vaping Michael B joining us. He donated this okay. to the channel for us to review because he was like, what the hell? They didn't send you this? Wismec, what's mm -hmm. wrong with you? So, that's great. I appreciate it. You're our producer today. Hmm. And everybody out there, get out your 2700 gear, which I've got my Ultra right here. Yummy. And vape with us. Douglas Orm, hey everybody. James Rivera, hey everybody. Michaela, Ryan Baxter, Dave Vapes, Jason Kennedy, Brady Vapor. Let me know about the 30% bro from Heaven Gives. What is the 30%? Do they have a code? And why is my camera flickering like that? You guys struggle to explain that, please. I'm appalled and frustrated right now. That makes me sad. What is going on? I can't explain that. It'll probably go away after a second here. Not having any idea what that is. Um, so let me jump to that. There, it went away. There's the desk right here. Let me find it wherever it is. And now we're looking at the box. They can still hear us. I'm going to open this thing up. You see, I've got a bunch of 2700 batteries. If you guys aren't on the 2700 revolution yet, make sure that you are. This is the only actually new thing in vaping. All these tanks and um, all these tanks and uh, new mods and everything that aren't using 2700 batteries are just using yesterday's technology. These were, uh, if regular viewers will know that I rant constantly about 2700 tech and how the advantages are so amazing and how it's also the only actually new thing going on. So, Remember that. Um, this is the third or fourth 2700 dual mod that's come out. The one that I used the most that came out was the Captain. And the first one was probably the Boxer, but no, nobody can afford that. And, I mean, a whatever. It's a prestige piece, not a real mod. And the Captain is a fantastic device with, like, replaceable grips that are sort of like um, 
vinyl and decent electronics all totally works doesn't have bypass which bothers me but it's fine the only thing that the captain really suffers from is a lack of two amp charging wow that bird's really going crazy oh yeah <laughs> yeah um the uh the two amp the two amp charging it really suffers a little bit from that but otherwise this is a great mod and i've used it like almost every day pretty much constantly uh, Brady Beer says that there's a Heaven Gift sale until the 13th. And you use the code AHG30 for 30% off site wide. That's great. Good reminder. Okay. These things are so fantastic. You just want to look at the back of the box here. I have actually been using this overnight. It lists everything in there. Basically, this one has the gnome tank. They also sell this kit with the gnome tank, without the gnome tank, and with and without batteries. Now, I've taken the liberty of pulling the manuals out because we may refer to these, but they, these were on the very bottom of the box. And this has 10 languages of the manual. The one thing that you will not see in this manual anywhere, it's a little bit too bright, isn't it? The one thing that you won't see anywhere in this manual is a description of how to change the tank so that the tank is... Turn the gain down a little bit there. So the, the tank is four mils. This is a, the gnome tank converts to four mils, but it's kind of illicit. Here's its manual. And it's a folder that's only got this much English instruction and none of it tells you how to convert it to four mils. I'll show you how to convert it to four mils and we'll ask the question, is that okay? Okay. So here's the mod, look at that. He sent me the copper color. It's super cool. I love how this looks. You're going to want to take a close look at the entire mod. It's got a big, big clicky button that has a slight flaw, which I'll get to a little bit later. It's got these indentations here, which don't serve any purpose, but they look cool. It's got two amp charging out of the USB on the wall socket. Up and down button right here. Big LED, not LED, OLED screen, actually. The 510 problems appear to have been fixed. They finally put a 510 in here that doesn't look like you can pull it loose. I stuck an atomizer on here. Hell, we'll do it again. We'll put the captain on here. And I pulled the crap out of this and I wasn't able to make this thing budge at all. It's absolutely rock It's uh, totally solid. So I'm a little bit impressed so far. Time will tell though. You guys know very well that you can't just use this for couple of days it takes it takes a few weeks sometimes but so far looking pretty good um the front it's all made of metal but it's funny because the actual mod is only really the front part this battery casing is metal at first i thought it might be polycarbonate uh, because it's so lightweight but it's not and they have a clicky switch here which i predict this might go out of business here soon i don't know how long it'll take but to their credit they've used all metal parts these switches and clips in the door and these pieces are all metal. I checked them out. So at least they're not going to plastic clip away. They wouldn't last at all. But what's cool is that this thing comes apart and it's just absolutely as low profile as possible. Inside the kit, they include an adapter for 18650s if you want to put these in here. And that makes it so that you can take 18650s and use it in the mod quite easily. I'll grab a couple of 18650s. From somewhere I use them so seldomly these days I don't even know where any are. Here's a couple, a very very bad shitty 18650s, and then you put them in there, alternating positive and negative. Click, and then she's on. But we're not going to use these crappy batteries. It is nice that they send adapters though, and I applaud Wismec for doing that. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I also think it's great that these adapters work for any manufacturer. They're bound to work for any manufacturer. So you could easily take an 18650 like this, grab your Anakin, which did not come with an adapter, and put it in there. That works just fine. So that's a pretty cool thing. Thanks, Wismac. I don't use 18650 batteries very much, but for those of you who do, that's going to make your batteries go way longer. 
My kit here did not come with batteries, and the reason is because I have plenty of eighteen of twenty seven hundreds. But you should definitely get batteries. They've included, if you'll notice, the clip on the bottom. These are metal clips that come out of here. So I was very glad. There's only one connector here, and my. I wonder about eventually this thing wearing a little bit. I don't know. My, um, my noisy cricket too didn't last forever on the bottom. Although these contacts look good, they're not springy. They are form fitted, and there's a lot of dirt and dust below the adhesive, but the contacts themselves are perfectly clean. You can see that's kind of weird, but it works good. When you're putting this in here, make sure that you note positive and negative. They didn't label the door. It's another weird thing. Like, why didn't they label the door positive and negative so that you knew the mirror? I, for example, have to keep looking at this over and over. Like, oh, okay, positive here, negative there. The easy thing to do is just to match up the inside one. Set them next to each other, positive, positive, and then do the negative. Click it on. And then look, we're going to do a little bit more show and tell just looking at the mod. It's absolutely solid. With 2,700 batteries, it's absolutely solid. It only moves the very minimum fractional distance you'd expect. With the 18650 adapter in here, it has a little bit of play, and you can feel it going back and forth. Um, 510 looks good. And the kit. Let's look at the kit here. And let's get, let's get Michael back on the horn here. I think his bird calmed down, and I want to hear what he has to say here. Let me just unmute you. Say something, buddy. There you are. Hey, guys. Something. Here's the other thing is that my it, the kit is great. It comes with a great kit. It comes with a gnome tank, which we'll show you, that has an extra 510 drip tip. But here's kind of a bummer. Mine came with a broken glass. They don't put the glass into, mm. uh, into bubbles. So mine's broken. I had a scare this morning where I almost broke the glass. It was pretty crazy. I was freaking out. Um, and here also is the extra coil. If your coil comes open, make sure you return it. I used this overnight. And so this is the dual 0.1, let me get the numbers for you. The dual 0.15, 30 to 70 watt. You vaped on this thing overnight as well, Mike. You've had yours longer. What did you think about the dual coil? I'm, lo I'm loving it. I'm getting full flavor and no, no lag at all. I'm shocked. I'm very impressed actually. Yeah, it was pretty good. It, it could only take 45 watts. That 70 watts is nonsense. nonsense. Oh, I agree. I'm at 48, but, you know, that's pushing it. Yeah. Here's the gnome tank, and then we can get back to the mod. The gnome tank is cool, but I want to take this apart and show you how to change, how to convert this. The gnome tank, this little guy, is... Pretty darn good looking, actually. But it's a 2 mil TPD compliant tank with a whole bunch of different coils. The one I took out was a dual coil. This is the triple coil, 0.2, 40 to 130 watts. So this will be more like probably 50 or 60 watts we'll end up using this at. Um, but it's designed by JBO. It's got a top click fill, kind of like the Captain Mini, which is cool. And these are kind of new gen clear miser tanks. And this one is convertible to four mils. If you take it apart, they send you a really cool 510 style. Both of the drip tips in it are 510s. But they send you a really cool replacement that's just like a Petri, which I should have kept out. Here it is. And as you guys know, I really dig the Petri form factor drip tip. This isn't the same Teflon, but it's cool. And this little drip tip has Wismec right there, and I line it up with the J, J bow. It's kind of fun. That's where you slide it open. These grooves are going to be full of dirt within a few days, and they'll be permanently stained. That's exactly how these things work. So I'm going to take this apart, and it's got a dual Cyclops airflow cut off at the bottom, but where would you put this on the spectrum of airflow, Mike? Uh, it's pretty constricted for the most part. But I've been running it wide open. It's not like a TFE eight at all, you know. It's, it's no, yeah. But it is good. I'm gonna try this point oh, three absolutely. oil the first time. So I'm gonna put a little bit of e liquid in here. I'm gonna use Velari VIP because this stuff is so fancy. It is unbelievable. Will it even focus? It's so fancy it won't even focus on it. Um, there it is. This is maraschino cherry. Yum, yum, yum. I love this stuff. 
And as you know, always when you're doing these clear magicals. Now, this thing does have an RBA available. You can buy it. It's about 10 bucks. I saw that. So maybe I'll try to get one. But otherwise, this is just another one of those included tanks that tend to be throwaways. But frankly, this one tastes pretty good. I really like the Captain Mini. I really like this one. So I'm not going to knock them on this. It assembles easy. I've put it through the ultrasonic already a couple of times and just haven't had any problem. And I'll show you guys how to convert it to four mil. So you'll see how now we're at the two mil size. My camera's just refocusing. We're at the two mil size. And what it has is in the lid, it's got a contraption. First of all, I want to point out that you cannot change the e-liquid in this unless you pull it completely apart. Or you cannot change the coil in this unless you pull it completely apart like a Nautilus. So that's a flaw, a little bit of a flaw. Just for those of you guys who care. So I'm going to grab my tweezers. Do you see that huge gasket up in the top? Can you guys see that? I hope it'll focus. It will focus. And it will focus. Don't you know when you're fuzzy, Mr. Logitech? Hi. Hi. It is on autofocus, believe me. Um, so this rubber gasket is going to come out of here. Believe me. <laughs> Thumbs away. I'm going to take my tweezers. There it is, it's finally focused. You put your tweezers in clean on underneath there, and the whole rubber gasket comes out. And it's really not easy. They really make it not easy as hell. There we go, I got it. I got a bite on it. I'm afraid I'm gonna destroy this. I think this is like a joke. And here's the question. When we pull this out, this will be a four millimeter, a four milliliter at atomizer. The real question is that, um, you know, is this just a joke on, on the TPD? Are they just flying in the face? It is hard to modify, actually. It certainly isn't gonna casually turn into a four milliliter atomizer. But it is not easy to get this thing out of here, and I can't imagine it'll be easy to get it back in if I go to Europe or the UK or whatever. There we go. I got it out. So you pull this thing out, and you've got this humongous silicone thing, and now we have double the juice capacity inside there. So now it's a four mil tank. The entire top, all that top was just completely used up and here's the thing too is that it's a little bit unsanitary like you need to be able to pull this thing out a little bit easier because it is um like it needs to be cleaned i can i put this in the ultrasonic with this in here and i only vaped one tank out of this and i can tell that it's that it's um it's still like not exactly clean so i should have pulled this out to clean it but pulling this thing in and out it just feels like it feels like this thing ought to be a little bit more durable for some reason. I'm not sure why it's not. Mm. Okay. So, but anyway, the cool thing is that now it's a four mil tank. I'm going to screw this thing together and I'm going to put in a bunch of delicious cherry. I already wet the actual thing. So all I got to do is slide that. Quonk, quonk. By the way, if you just tuned in, I'm Eli Juicy Jones, and this is Orbital Vaping Headquarters. Today, we are opening the Wismac RX2, and I'm just filling this up with some delicious... This is the gnome tank that comes with it. We're going to get back to the mod in just one second. It'll hold four mils now, but I've taken the gasket out. Well, if you're using a glass... Um, dropper, watch the hell out on the top here because there's no silicone or anything. Like, you could easily break your glass tip off on this thing. Have you ever done that? 
Yes. Yeah, me too. Me too, buddy. Yeah, so is it deceptive? It's a little bit illicit. It holds four milliliters. And sort of invisibly so. It's disguised as a two mil tank. Anyway, flavor on it's good. Look at this cool mod. We've had this for just about a day. And there is some just mod porno. Mm -hmm. So you can see the mod. It has nice details. It's got, of course, the warnings and registrations on the bottom. Designed by Jbo, manufactured by Wizmex, silkscreened on there. This is good for stickers. The back is totally unadorned. The metal mod part of it, this is going to be pretty good for wraps and stuff, I think. And I find it very impressive that the mod itself is nearly is nearly non-existent. I mean, the actual mod is pretty damn. Have you taken it sort of just all apart and looked at it? Yeah, I have. It's like pretty wacky. But it's completely... I like it. I like that it's engineered just to be a very small thing. Right. It's mostly battery compartment. Yeah, that's right. And they kept that small. Let's go back up to the main camera so we can more than just hear you. I'll transition. Hello. Hello. I mean, like Juicy Jones, that is Vaping with Michael B. hanging out with us today. Thank you for tuning in. This thing is, uh, so, okay, so, you've seen the unboxing. You know the kit comes with one of everything. Comes with everything except for a replacement silicone for that four mil thing. Um, cool little adapters for your 18650s. All right. 24-hour first impression. What do you think, Mike? I think you are something weird. I am, I'm loving it. I've been a Minikin V2 fanatic for a long time, and I'm having a hard time because I'm starting to like this better. Every tank, I've, I've even tried other tanks on here as well, and they all taste better, seem to do better with the, with the uh, higher batteries. Yeah, for two battery mods, you only have a few games in town for 2700s now, and iJoy and... This new Wizmec. And this new Wizmec is the one to beat. It is great. I love the Captain. Nothing wrong with it at all. It's great. But this one has all kinds of... I mean, this one is absolutely smaller. And, you know, some people will like that. Like Fuchs Jeremy, our good friend on Instagram, Fuchs Jeremy. He's not into the smaller mod. He'd like the Captain to be bigger. But everybody isn't the same. Right? What do you think about the size? You like the size of this one, right, Mike? I love the size. It fits really well in the hand. It's the it's shorter, or you know, not as tall as I expected it to be um, for having the bigger batteries. But yeah, it's got a really nice feel and grip to it. It fits perfectly in my hand anyway. It is. You know that this is shorter than my RX two hundred S. Really? Yeah. Doesn't like to forgive me a little. I just dumped half a cup of tea off in my desk. In case you want to see it, it's right there oh, Lord. on the camera. That's funny. No big deal, though. I do this all the time because I'm a, I'm a broadcasting slob. But I will show you guys the desk. I was going to show you that this thing is actually smaller. I'm so glad I have a great wireless mouse. It will not care that it got wet. That's so funny. Um, let me show you on the desk, on the big picture. Boom. That this thing is actually... A little tiny bit shorter than the RX 200S. Isn't that rad? I mean, they have kept the size down to the bare minimum for this. And I think that was... <clears throat> Excuse me. The only thing that I missed from the RX 200S, the only thing that the Captain didn't do for me was be just a tiny bit smaller. But the Captain is one of, still one of my favorite mods. So I love this thing. I'm sure a lot of people out there, if you're live out there, tell us if you're thinking about one of these things. Tell us if you're in the market for 2,700 mods. Tell us about your batteries. We're about to get into full-on hangout chat mode. I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters, and we are unboxing the RX-2. I'm comparing it to the, to the old RX-200S, and it's, like I said, it's just an itty fractional bit shorter, but basically the same. The old one had a tiny, tiny, hard to find dumb button. 
and the new one has a nice big clicky button. I need to tell everybody what my beef with the button is. And that is that the button only activates going down. So it's on a hinge starting at the top and you press the bottom to activate the button. And I miss it a lot. The trick is just aim for the top of the screen. If you hit this piece of metal right here, then you'll always hit the button. But that annoys me. So one day in, you're into it. I'm into it. I'm I'm so I'm so I think like you said yesterday, I think they'll sell a million of these if, if they can just, you know, come you know, rise to the top of the you know, the pile of all the stuff that's coming out so fast. Right. I think that they're gonna sell a million of these things no matter what I say. <laughs> And yeah. Because the thing is, the thing has got, it's got all the basics. These only have to work, and they use 2700s. They can use 18650s, and this is extremely small. This is my new pocket power piece. Like, this tank is fine, but, like, here's my carat RDA on my 2700 Ultra Coils gold-plated mech, which I, it's the smallest 2700 mech there is. Hmm. And it's gold-plated. I love that thing so much. Wow. And here is the carrot RDA on the RX. And it's so sexy. I'm going up to 100 watts. 102. Boom. Amazing. Delicious. Fantastic. So this is my new super pocket piece. I love this thing. I'm going to turn off the desk cam just so we can chat. It'll be just our video cameras. It'll be kind of fun. Which one is it? But which one is it? Mm. So any other thoughts about the first day behind this thing? You've been using the tank. You've been using the mod. Yeah, I, I, um, I'm, I'm just surprised at the flavor. Something about the the combination that that this mod provides is just kicking the flavor out the window yeah, the even when i change mods i don't know how the mod would affect the flavor of your stuff that doesn't that doesn't make any sense but i can say that this thing provides i mean it feels to me like this is another good 2700 battery device and the 2700 batteries are just more reliable and they last longer and they're safer and all the mods that have them I mean, even at 45 watts, they last so much longer. The batteries, especially. The only thing I saying. can, the only thing I can figure is the power behind the the amps and the uh, the preheat. Yeah, it could very well be because it also has a kind of invisible. We were talking about how we couldn't really find the preheat. He was expecting a curve, and I did. We find one. We did, right? I I found the preheat. Yeah. If you hold down the right up power button and the power button at the same time, you get a menu, which I will show you. Talking about here, right? So here's the main menu here. And if I hold these two buttons down, the up button and the power button, you see you get this little menu here and it lets you pick the preheat timer. Or no, this is the timeout value of the vaping. So up to 15 seconds, you can change that. And you can also change the preheat power. Oh, this is where you change the curve. So this is not the preheat power. Uh, right? There's the preheat and the, uh, and the timeout is also there. But that isn't the preheat, is it? It does, the preheat usually comes up first. Oh, what am I saying? You're right, you're absolutely right. It says preheat. There, yeah, as soon as it comes up, it shows preheat power right. and time. And then if you click through that and then left click. Um, so that's all you get. You get an amount of time and a preheat power. Correct. You don't well, get a curve then, if you're asking. No, you don't get a curve. The next, the next option is the, uh, the number of seconds before timeout. Right, you're absolutely right. I didn't notice that that menu changed. How do I get out of this menu? Uh, there we go. I just keep, keep pressing the button. There. 
Um, yeah. So that's a little bit confusing. Right. A little bit confusing. But and to get a t you can get a, a key lock by holding both keys. You can get a stealth mode by holding power and the down button, which I really like. And otherwise, it's pretty simple. You have, you have temperature curves, M1 and 2. You have temperature, stainless steel, nickel, titanium, just like most of the Joytech stuff. This has all the basics. The bottom has the same, uh, the, it's got the same exact electronics that Joytech's been using forever, where you can change the puff timer, the amps, the voltage, and the number of puffs, the puff counter on your second display at the bottom down there, at the very bottom. So that's cool. I keep mine on time and amps. Amps can help you diagnose weird builds. If your amps are getting weird, you're like, oh, that's too much for my battery. No wonder it's strange. And of course, I'm at 20 watts, so that won't work. The maximum wattage of this thing is, what, 200 watts? Right? Yes. Right. Correct. I'm just going up to 200 watts. I'm going up to 100 for this. I mean, this thing is really good. Yeah, one of the first, yeah, I did a little price check in the very beginning, but it's about $43 for the mod, and it's about 48 or so, or no, 60-something with the tank and the mod and the batteries and everything. So that's pretty cool. I have a link here that is in the description, or will be. There's a link for you guys to it in the chat. And I'll put one in the description. This too. Oh, there is already one in the description. Yeah, so click down there and check those out. You'll see them. These things are real affordable. I mean, so far, I'm sold. I mean, now we're going to see how the durability is and how the the day-to-day -day use goes. And have to. You guys will have to keep tuning in. Keep watching Vape AM at Orbital Vaping Headquarters. Don't forget to everyone click on that like button and subscribe. And if you're watching this on a replay, chime in and tell us what you think. Tell us about what stuff you'd like to see on the channel. And to keep tuning in because you find out how all this stuff resolves by watching me, Juicy Jones, and my guests. Today's Michael B. I'm down for this thing. I like this. I wanted a smaller 2700 dual battery mod, and I got it. Mm -hmm. So the, the thing about 2700 mods is it's the first battery size that I've actually felt like I wanted to take them out on the street that much. Like my single battery 18650 mods collect dust because they don't, it isn't that they can't provide a decent vape. It's just that they don't have, the 18650 batteries can't do it long enough. You know, they just can't, they can't last. And these batteries last much better. I think. Much better. I love my little gold one. What do you see vaping on today, Michael B? What you, I'm using, here. I'm using, I know, I am actually using a cocktail. I've got naked um, lava flow in here, as well as, uh, what's the other one? Oh, uh, Pop Clouds Hawaiian Punch. That's cool. So I, I mix them up a lot. I'm hard to keep with one. That is cool. But everything I put in here is wonderful. The flavor really pops out of it. Just taking a look at this. Oh, I was just being appalled that iJoy made an 18650 version of the Captain. Yeah. What's the point? Yeah, that's absolutely stupid. There's adapters. I think this one is slightly cheaper than the Captain. I'm trying to verify that. Somebody was asking. Sometimes. It depends on where you go, but not by much. Uh, no, not by much, but it is a little. A little bit. Yeah, so slightly cheaper than the Captain. Uh, the captain's a much better thing to build on. I'll tell you that. Also, the captain, there's a, there, it's, we must be noted that people who want big, big atomizers, you don't want the Wismac. It fits 24 just fine. But it's not going to, I mean, look at how the captain eats up the Pharaoh, which is one of the widest things in the universe. 
I mean, the Captain has room for 30 millimeter atomizers. So if you're using 30 millimeter stuff, people who want larger stuff definitely want the Captain. And this one is just flush at 24. So it's a little bit, it's cool that they made such a small atomizer, but they, uh, there's only a very small number of people who complain about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who are going to actually care? We used to only have 22, so, yeah. You know. And so now everybody's going into these 26 and a few 30. I personally only need about 26 millimeters maximum. Like the 25 millimeter Noisy Cricket 2 is just about perfect for me. Just about. Uh, and I want to caution you guys about price matching, the, the, by the way. And I know we all are concerned about price and making sure we get the lower price and stuff. But I'm telling you that, and I've been saying this for years, that it matters who you buy stuff from. And if you can't get any customer service, you can get lucky a dozen times in a row. Then the first time you need something, they won't be there for you. Or uh, you'll get the wrong product. Or you'll order something and it'll take months to ship and then you'll forget about it. Or they advertise products you can't buy, like Vaporl, B-A-P-O-R-L. That's totally shady. They advertise products you can't actually buy just to loop you in to their website. And um, it's, I just warn you guys, I'm warning you officially, that you guys should try to be real smart about who you buy stuff from. And there's a reason why I recommend the Cloudy Vapor and Heaven Gifts and Fast Tech and just a very few other places because it's because I know I can trust them. And I'm very, I also buy stuff just like you guys from here and there and wherever. And I find out this stuff the hard way. And I go and ask, like I asked iJoy, if those ultra kits on Vaporal are legit or not. And they said, no, that they're, they're mm. not authorized to sell those. So where they're getting them, don't know. Mm. Don't know. But they're not going to tell you that. They're going to tell you they got them from iJoy, but they didn't. So they could be clones. Well, you can't buy one from them, and they could be clones. It could be anything. They're doing bait and switch tactics where they list it for like forty-six dollars or whatever, but you can't really buy that. So they want you to go buy something else. It's just be careful, guys. Rant off. Everybody, I hope you have a cup of tea and coffee. A bunch of. Oh no wonder your video isn't updating for some reason on my silly screen. Wonder why. It's decided to say, no, I don't want to. <laughs> it does that. It has a mind of its own sometimes. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, take that thing off. So I'm really into the RX2 so far. It's small. Feels good. The door is made of metal. The moving parts are made of metal. We all have to see about the durability. So everybody start telling me what you think. As you buy these things, start messaging me. Tell me if they're durable, if they're good. Make sure that you are following because we're going to do live stuff from the West Coast Vape Expo. And that's going to be in December 9th. That's going to be super awesome. 9th and 10th. In Pasco, Washington. Come join me. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, do it. Instagram, Juicy Jones HQ. And vaping with Michael B. V A P N M Y K L B. I can tell you that mine has survived the drop test already twice. Oh, that's important. Oh, yeah. and dude, Mang Brosevich mentions he buys from his brick and mortar. That's, that's such a smart idea. Make a relationship with them. Be like dude, Mang Brosevich. Make a relationship. Get to know people. They can. They'll start ordering stuff you like and want. You know, as they as it's practical for them or whatever. Yeah. They'll bargain with, with you, too, a little bit just to get your, keep your business local. Jason Kennedy asks, you know where to get 2700s in Canada? I would, I would still try imrbatteries.com and illumin.com. And some good ones that are basic. These aren't the best ones. You can't get the best ones, unfortunately, because they're just not easy to get. These are the Sanyo 2700As. A, A is good, B is bad for Sanyos. And you can't really get these right now, but these Amp King ones are pretty good. Buy the Amp Kings. They're good, they're, they're decent 30 amp batteries, about 2,900 mAh. You're gonna be pretty happy with them. The Sanyo 2700As are better, but if you can get those, get them. Do not buy Bs, buy As, B is bad. Burry neck, what is B for? 
B, very <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, but in this case, B is bad. Right. Just saying. That's funny. Didn't want to stigmatize you, but. <laughs> Don't know what's going on with your window. It somehow refused to update a few minutes ago and has never. That's, that's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> okay. I still hear you. Yeah. All good. Uh, Jason Kennedy, I don't have a link to IMR batteries down on the bottom uh, in the bio or in the description, but I can put one in there for you. I don't mind doing that. The other one you mentioned was a Lumen. Uh huh. Both of those batter both of those places sell batteries that are guaranteed to be the correct battery you asked for. So. or Illumin or imrbatteries.com. I don't get any money from this. You just do it for the love of vaping. Okay, I put them in the description of today's video. Both of those um, companies guarantee they're the right batteries and that, you know, they're, the shipping is expensive and they're all over the place on price and stuff, but that's where I buy all my batteries. IMRbatteries.com. Um, yeah, and also, there's a link in the description also to Mooch and those kinds of things. And you always want to, you always want to trust Mooch, follow Battery Mooch on, on Instagram and go by the battery C, he tells you to do. But so I'm basically the summary of him because all of my advice comes from Mooch. I trust him implicitly. So buy the, you can buy the Amp King batteries, they're fine. Buy the Sanyo A's, but they're not available yet. But don't really buy the rest. Just trust me on that, y'all. Yeah, trust me on that. You don't want those. All right, so how else are we doing? What's going on this weekend? Anything else? Not much here with me anyway. Yeah. Brady's Brady's forgetting about the Sanya. Um Yeah, not too much. We're gonna go have my birthday had a my girlfriend had a birthday this week and we're gonna have a nice day having a brunch with the in laws today. And uh otherwise we're just gonna hang out and do vape stuff. I'm gonna bring you guys a look at other stuff that's coming up. And Van Gogh Vapes has got a new website, don't forget. Going to the vape show on the 9th and 10th. What else, sir? Valari VIP is delicious. I think I'll switch back to this coil and see how many watts we get out of it. It says up to 130, right? Bullshit, wow. isn't it? I'm gonna put it on 75 and see what happens. It'll be, that'll seem like a lot on this because the air is not high enough for this stuff. You can't go to 130 watts or something with, with air like this. Flavor's good. Flavor's good. Flavor was better on the other coil. On the two? Yeah. The point two. No, not the point two, the, yeah, the dual coil. You got it right, right. the dual coil. The resistance yeah. on that was, what's the one resistance five. on your saying? One five, that actually one, had better flavor. That's the one I have in, I wondered. I wonder if the one is, is uh, good as well. I would guess that one, oh, what? I would guess it's probably decent flavor, but I, the air would drive me crazy. Right, it might get better. I thought it might get a better airflow because it's a bigger diameter coil. Right. Oh, yeah. Maybe so. The triple's good. I'm going back to the dual pretty soon, though. Oh, maybe I'll crank it up. Maybe I'll go up to 85 watts. Dare I do 87 and a half? Oh, much better. It's going to be a battery murderer, right? That's what it's all about. Point two. These don't work in temperature control, by the way. They do not. I'm getting huge amounts of vapor out of this thing. 
but it's starting to get like hot to the point where it's making my tongue numb. So this, it's like at the point where it's like, I'm not going to crank it up much more. I'm going up to 105 watts. 104, too lazy. <laughs> It's starting to taste like it will burn. You know what I mean? Like it's threatening yeah. to burn. But it's not actually burning. In case you guys are wondering, I keep looking at Mike. He's over here on the second monitor over here. Can you? Oh, you can't see it. Let me try to turn my camera. Hey, there he is. That's him right there. I couldn't get him to come up on the hey. other screen, so I put him up over here. Sorry about that. That's a I'll move over. You can now see my, you can see my nasty disc. And my microphone cables, huh? Uh, not all that important. It's all good. You did say that you cool. can. Go on. I was just going to say to clarify that you said that you can uh, charge the the twenty seven hundreds at two amps on an external battery charger. Absolutely, that's what they're designed for. Okay. It's even better. It's good. I love the fact that they're designed for two amp charging. And I have two chargers down here that both work at two amps. And these things charge in like 40 minutes or less. Boom. You'll be shocked. You'll be like, whoa. Cool. And they're designed to charge at two amps for their lifetime. And this has two amp charging right built in. So you can take this to work, just plug it in, and it will get a meaningful charge in an hour of not using it. Meaningful. So that's cool. Heinrichs from Denmark. Great to see you. These guys are talking about Valari VIP. Yeah, it's good. Michaela, you've tried Valari too. Isn't it delicious? I'm vaping on a cherry goodness right now. I prefer it in an RDA. It's so expensive that putting it in a tank kind of makes you go, ah. It seems really decadent to put this in a tank because it's really expensive. I'm not going to lie, I like the airflow better on this, but I like the flavor better on the coil you're vaping on. This is getting a little spitty at 100 watts. I'm going back to 75. Mm, yeah, drop it down. Also, it's hot. Have you noticed? Yeah. Yeah, the tank gets hot. It has a lot of metal on top, right? Yep. I have noticed that. Yeah, mine definitely gets hot. I've noticed that. Not a huge deal though. The mod doesn't get super hot. That's another nice thing about these batteries is that these batteries are designed to deliver the amperages that they say on them, that Mooch says on them. And so they actually work better. So they don't get as hot. And when they do get as hot, they don't get as out of control hot. I mean, that is hot batteries. That is basically a vent waiting to happen, y'all. Mm. Yummy. Okay, well, let's vape out and let's get on with our day, shall we? This is a super nice thing. I'm going to find our little broadcast thing because we're getting on an hour. It's our pumpkin time. Yeah, we're just about there. So I hope that all of you are having a great day and that you have a great day. And I really appreciate you tuning into our broadcast. Make sure you like and subscribe. Mike, what would you like to say going out to everybody? Oh, just vape on, vape it forward. You know, keep, keep giving it back. Thank you so much for sending this to review. You're the greatest. You're the best. Oh, no problem, man. My pleasure. Yeah, and it's nice to have you on the show, too. And if you want to be on the show, yeah, you can email juicyjones at gmail.com person out there who wants to be on the show. Uh, I love all you guys. Let's vape out, shall we? Thank you.